In the raid on the suspect's apartment, police found a homemade explosive called TATP. Terrorists like it because it's made with household chemicals like nail polish remover, ingredients that don't raise suspicion when they're purchased. Chris Van Cleve reports that American researchers have a new device to detect it. Fire in the hole! Three, two, one. Dr. Jimmy Oxley is the director of the University of Rhode Island Center of Explosives Detection. The university has been given a million dollar grant by the Department of Homeland Security to come up with a sensor for the highly volatile explosive TATP. You don't need pounds to cause a catastrophic failure. It took only one tenth of a pound of TATP to rip apart this car door. Last night, Belgian police seized 33 pounds of the explosive. That's 300 times more. TATP is made with hydrogen peroxide and acetone, items easily purchased at a drugstore. For years, we've relied on bomb-sniffing dogs to detect TATP, but with long hours and fatigue, they have their limits. This is, this is the digital dog. From this so, campus yeah. lab, Professor Otto so, Gregory designed the sensor in, in that detects TATP. It's an electronic trace detection system that can do and compete with a dog, but it doesn't need a break, in a sense, so it detects 24-7. Gregory says in closed spaces like airports, the sensor can detect amounts as small as one part per billion. He held this vial, which contained trace amounts of TATP. Within seconds, this computer graph spiked, alerting to the presence of the explosive. The sensor is already sensing what you're holding yes, in your hand. Yes, that's correct. That is correct, as we speak. <laughs> do you feel a renewed sense of urgency to get it out there? I, I do. I do. We would like to get it out there yesterday. The device will begin real-world testing later this year. Scott, the goal is to get it down to the size of a smartphone so it could be mounted on a turnstile or worn by a police officer. Chris Van Cleve, fascinating story. Chris, thank you.